Crowds are gathering again under the outstretched arms of Brazil's most famous landmark. But for the first time, wearing masks. Located on top of the Corcovado mountain, at a height of over 700 meters, it offers a breathtaking view of Rio de Janeiro's Guanabara Bay, a site many locals were missing during the pandemic. Officials say it is now safe to enjoy. The Sugarloaf Cable Car Ride, another iconic tourist attraction, opened last week. While implementing discredited protocols such as temperature checks, there were no signs of social distancing. We are worried, but with these measures, we feel a little more secure. Step by step, we hope we will go back to normal. The city hopes to kickstart tourism by offering discounts of up to 50% to local residents. But city health experts say they still need to evaluate the impact of the reopening in a state that has recorded nearly 15,000 deaths. According to the latest government data, tourism accounted for just over 8% of Brazil's economy and employed nearly 7 million people. It is now one of the hardest hit sectors of the economy. Brazil lifted all restrictions on foreigners arriving by air last month, but few believe confidence will return anytime soon to a country that has recorded nearly 110,000 coronavirus deaths and has seen no signs of flattening its curve. The National Commerce Confederation says Brazil lost more than 23 billion tourist dollars due to the pandemic. Despite steep losses, it says now is not the time to open up. We need to be able to open safely. It is useless to open the tourism economy too quickly, to either locals or foreigners. If we are not absolutely sure, it is not going to cost lives. For now, tourism operators say they expect Rio will welcome few domestic tourists and far fewer, if any, foreign visitors, as the marvelous city and Brazil struggle to contain the second worst outbreak of COVID-19 in the world. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.